morning! Today I'm actually going to film a day in my life. I'm a D1, so a first year dental student at Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska. And I kind of wanted this as a time capsule, but also to let um, people from other schools see what's happening, our prospective dental students, whatever it may be. So this is my first time filming a day in the life, so it should be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, right now it's about 9.15 a.m. and it's Wednesday. So Wednesday is the only day of the week that I don't have class beginning at 8 a.m. So most days I have either class or lab from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. with an hour break for lunch and then occasionally a break in there or lab gets out early or lecture releases early but for the most part it's pretty consistent and then um, so I like to get up at about 4 a.m. and then study until 6 30 on most days and then use that hour and a half for either a quick workout and get ready breakfast go to school or I will study until closer to seven and then move my workout to after school. So it just all depends on the day. But today was a Wednesday, so I got up at 4 a.m. and I studied till about 8.30. I got a ton done. I find that the morning is so um, useful for myself. No one's up, no one's texting me. Um, I can just maintain such focus utilizing those best hours of the day for my brain um, to really learn the material. And I can actually go into more later about how I divvy things out and how I schedule my days in life. Um, but for now, this is just a brief overview. So 9.15 a.m., getting ready to go to school. Uh, this is my room. So this is the desk where I study at a lot in the mornings just because, uh, let's be real, nothing is open at 4 a.m. to study. So I'll just get out of bed, basically roll out, um, I set my alarm clock on this side of my room so I have to physically get out of bed and then I'll sit there and study. So I usually go for about an hour and then I give myself a break to make coffee and warm up whatever I'm eating for breakfast and then I bring that down here and eat that. And then I keep studying um, and then this is the rest of my room. I have a walk-in closet over there um, and I have my backpack all packed ready to go. I, that's basically my office so I could study either at the library or at school, wherever I want to go. It's all there. And then another big thing is actually packing my lunch. So I do a meal prep where I prepare, I prepare like um, vegetables, fruits, and then the meals ahead of time. So usually on the weekend and then I can just come in during the week and put things in my bag and there's uh, my lunch. So in my bag right now, I have my cooler, so my roommates have other food in here. But I have, I have carrots and hummus as just kind of a snack. And then I have a stuffed pepper and then a stroganoff thing. And then I'm also gonna grab a salad. I just put salad in a container. Um, and I have my balsamic dressing, olive oil, and apple, crackers and cheese for a snack if I want. So basically when I look at this cooler, I have no excuse to stop studying. So the main purpose of having the cooler all packed and ready to go with snacks and food for the whole entire day is when I leave in the morning, I can choose to go to the library and study, work out, then go to the library, or just be able to stay um, wherever I want to be without having an excuse like, oh, I need to go home and get food or something like that. So a big thing about dental school is minimizing the excuses you have to not study. And this is what's really worked for me. And also maintaining um, like a normal eating schedule, normal eating habits is so important, I found, for maintaining focus and clear mind and all the energy that we do need. I'm pretty sure that most dental schools have the students wear scrubs, but at Creighton we have to wear business casual, and so for girls we get it a little bit more lenient, but guys are wearing dress pants and then a shirt and tie every single day, so this is just my business casual outfit for today, so I just have a bunch of pants. We have to wear pants because of um, OSHA or some safety thing, so if we're in the lab and someone drops a needle, our legs aren't getting cut, like if we had a dress on, then I just have a shirt. I usually carry a jacket because school can get cold. So I just got to school and was parking and then realized this, that I had driven too close to the curb and I punctured my tire. So now I got to call AAA, this done. Um, meanwhile, class still goes on. I have a meeting with a professor over lunch so I can't get it fixed then. So I'll have to do it after school. I was planning to study for some 
uh, upcoming exam, so it's just like there's oftentimes these frantic moments, um, but you just have to roll with it and see how it goes. So I think I'm gonna call AAA, see if I can get a tow schedule and where a close tire shop is. Don't quite know how this happened, but we got out of class at 2.30 it is right now, so I'm just gonna, I'm set up, this is a room in kind of like a hidden study spot in the school and it's quiet, not many people come in here, like it's kind of a secret still. Not that it's a secret, it's called a reading room. Um, and so I just have like, I like to put things on sticky notes and then I'm gonna do my schedule and then get to work, crank out a little bit before I go try to call AAA and get my entire figured out. Yeah, but anyways, today we had lectures for histology, history of dentistry, we watched a video on anesthesia how people used to use cocaine and morphine and things. And then I had um, a lunch meeting with my histology professor to go over some questions. Um, ate lunch and then I had physiology and anatomy. So it was definitely a packed day and I have a lot to study from that. Um, but usually how I attack it is I'll like try to read over it or go through it at least once after this to kind of solidify it in my mind because for me, hearing it once in lecture, I don't know it. I have to like dig through it and figure it out myself. So I'll go through it again. seven o'clock at night and it's dark outside. So after school, AAA came, they ended up uh, replacing my tire, like putting the spare on. And yeah, I could have done it myself, but it was really cold out and I would have rather sat in the warm vehicle and have the dude do it for me. So that doesn't fall off. Then I went around to a few different tire stores. I'll actually insert the image here. I went to this one called Nando's. It had really good reviews online and he seems like a super nice guy but uh, he didn't have the tire that I needed because I drive a Subaru so it has some like weird foreign Yakosama or something tires so then I went to an auto store they had it but it was kind of expensive so then I called the dealership and got an appointment for tomorrow morning so I should be back in action but it's just like ah I wanted to be studying and doing other things and then actually as I was driving home I saw one of my friends on the road and so then we rolled down our windows and chatted at the red light so that's kind of fun um, especially being in a big city to have those little connections like that um, and so now here I am I'm gonna I'm actually I guess part of my I should probably touch on this part of my review process after I get the information is to um, I don't always rewatch lectures I'd say only 20% of the time I probably do but I will go through and like make a summary or write things out and draw things out and then once I realize like if there's something that I'm really iffy on then I'll go back and watch that part of the lecture or if it's a professor who I can't keep up with their notes I'll watch it but most of the time I don't so that's that. But anyways, it's, um, it was fun to kind of fill my day. Thanks for coming along. I'm just gonna wrap up. I have a goal of writing out a bit more anatomy and then learning and doing the same writing out of some physiology notes and testing myself on those concepts. Um, and then finally, maybe histology lab or editing this video. But I only have like an hour 15 left before I go to bed. So probably won't happen for all that but it's good to have goals and then I'll just pick up in the morning when I wake up at 4 a.m. with whatever I left off at so thanks for watching I'm going through and then I just like keep writing it down again 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 draw it out until I can get it and so then um, oops. and so then once the exam comes I have confidence that I can um, just write it all this out like exactly like this if I need to on my paper and make the drawings so then I can um, like answer a bunch of questions off of that so that's basically what I do I put on some music like study music or alpha waves and then just go to town with drawing everything out and repeating it um, today we went over the vasculature of the abdominal cavity which was quite a bit but 
Yeah, so...